Hey folks, Dr. Murphy here. I learn a lot from the editorials. It doesn't matter what paper they come from. Uh, today we're going to end up on a very good observation about common sense or the lack of it. Okay, first, Hollywood's A-list bribe for peace. George Clooney and friends offer big bucks to stop a suicidal actor strike. Next, $8.99 cereal could rock the globe. High prices in U.S. stores will play an outsized role in 2024's presidential election. Next, AI may soon weigh in on regulation. How will agencies like the FCC deal with computer-generated public comments? Next, Biden's red line moment with Iran. Blinken promises a swift and decisive response, but will Biden back it up? Next, meanwhile, Trump, trouble, <laughs> Trump, trouble in the Pacific. A China-Philippines wreck shows Beijing's risky military moves. Next, the Trumpian tragedy of Jen Jenna Ellis. Trump's stolen election claims keep hurting everyone but himself. Next, your periodic reminder that evil is real. Hamas's atrocities force us to confront the concept, though it doesn't take long for equivocation to begin. Next, the antitrust case against Google was a Republican project. Biden regulators have gone overboard, but this lawsuit isn't a good example. Finally, let's end up on this very good one on Common Sense, written by Jason Riley. Shut up, the TED Talk people explain. Uh, and he talks about this fight between Chris Anderson, the British entrepreneur behind the popular TED Talks, and Coleman Hughes, a podcaster and prolific essayist who writes about culture, politics, and race. Anyway, in their debate, uh, Jason Riley notes, that's common sense, but we live in an age when common sense is not only uncommon, it's controversial. And boy, this story illustrates that as well as any.